Hey all you cool bugs and insects, welcome back again. We're going to be doing, uh, of course, more insects tonight. In fact, um, we'll do one more insect tonight. I think it might be our, our last insect and then we're going to move on to um, another type of creepy crawly critter. Another one of my favorites. But tonight's special visitor is very cool. They like to play uh, what I call a silly game. Um, so we'll get to see him do that. But before we do, I kind of want to start again with a song. And then we'll read a story. It's another short one. It's kind of cool. It's kind of an interactive story. You'll, you'll see. Um, so let's see. Do you remember what made insects special? What made them different? Let's see. Let's look here at this beetle here. Do you see those two things on top? One, two. Do you remember what they were? Antenna! Yeah, insects have two antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and get my antenna so that I can be just like an insect too. Oh, I've got a floppy antenna today. Let's see if I can get that to stay up so you can see it. There we go. I might have to push this back. antenna one and two hmm what else let's see let's look at this this guy he's probably like a stag beetle look at his cool hmm you know those are tricky because I remember something else that made insects special and it was how many legs they had so let's let's count this guy here he's got one two three hmm four, five, six, six legs, but he is, look, it's really going to be tough to see. He's got his two antenna right here in the middle. You see one and two antenna, but then he's got these things. They look kind of like pinchers. I wonder what he uses them for. Hmm. I wonder if it helps him look scary and keep protected. I wonder if it helps him to eat. We can be entomologists and we can look and figure it out together, or we can look and figure it out another time. So let's see. Two antenna, this guy had little ones, and six legs. Two antenna and six legs. You remember, as a human, as a person, I had one leg, I had two legs, and I had one hand and two hands. One, two, three, four. Four? That's not six. I don't know. Let's see. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. So I can be an insect too. Woo! I lost you there for a second. Oh my. Hi, you're back. <laughs> I thought I lost you for a second. That must have been a fun adventure. Okay, so two antenna, six legs, and there was something else that helped protect them. And we have bones on the inside of our body, an endo or an endoskeleton, but insects have their An exoskeleton, exoskeleton. And there was, hmm, something else. Let's see, it was something to do with the number of body parts. We did counting with that too. I'm gonna slide you again. Hopefully you don't go on another ride, another journey. Oh. Okay, so I had head, shoulders, knees, Toes, eyes, ears, nose, toes. I got ten of those. Um, I got a belly button. A belly button. I have elbows. I have. They're not so stinky today, but I have armpits. Ooh, kind of wet though. Ew. <laughs> so I've got like all of the body parts it's way too many 
If I was an insect, how many would I need to have coming back on a safe journey? I would need to have only three. One, two, three. I would need to only have three body parts. Let's see. I have this grasshopper. And I'm going to show you on this grasshopper. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge because it's not as easy to see as this little ant. Because on the little ant, you can see one, two, three. Head, thorax, abdomen. But on some insects, it's harder to see. So let's see if we can figure it out on this here grasshopper. So we've got head, thorax. See the middle part under the head? Thorax. And then abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. One, two, three. Three body parts. Okay. We're going to do the song. I'm already worked up. So I'm going to take some deep cleansing breaths. And we're going to go over the things. And then we're going to sing the things. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Insects have two antenna. Insects have six legs. Insects have an exoskeleton. Insects have head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And you remember what else? Sometimes some of them got them, some of them don't. And sometimes wings. You ready to sing it? Oh, I'm feeling extra ridiculous and crazy and silly tonight. So let's do it. Let's sing it. Sign it back. Oh my goodness. Don't go. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? You see me? All right, good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's sing. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two antenna and an exoskeleton. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And sometimes wings. <laughs> oh, I love you all so much. Thank you for letting me get silly. It's a silly kind of day. Feeling good today. Now, hmm, let's see. I think we're almost ready to meet our special visitors. But there was one more thing that we did a little bit yesterday that I wanted to do again, and maybe we can see it a little bit better. One of the reasons that an insect's antenna helped them to feel around if they can't see very well is because they have crazy eyes. Remember we tried to look into them? Crazy eyes. Well, I found the lenses from the red ones I took out so that you could see better. So let's see if this works. Look how crazy that looks. That would be hard to see with. Let's look at this one. Let's see. Whoa. So crazy. So crazy. Yeah, I just I had to show you that. But I also have to show you the insects for tonight. Now, remember back when we, we did the who is it? which were the type of amphibian. And it was like, they have a big scary name, but it helps them. These guys also have a big scary name that helps them too. Are you ready? These guys are called death feigning beetles. Death feigning beetles. Feigning, hmm, that's a new word. It's an interesting word. Feigning means to fake, to play pretend. So they're death faking or death pretending beetles. That means they play dead, yeah. So you're gonna see when they get scared so that they can stay safe and maybe not get eaten because a lot of animals, some, but a lot of animals don't like to eat dead food. Nah, they like their food alive and yummy and fresh. So if they get scared or sense danger, they play dead. until they feel safe again to move. And hopefully, hopefully we can see some of them do it. Some of them sometimes are used to being handled. I take them out to teach children a lot. So let's see if we can find them. I have a few in here. I have blue death veiners and I have black death veiners and I have smooth death veiners. So we'll look at some of the differences. So let's start with a blue, because they're one of my favorites. So this guy here 
Can you see him? He is a blue death feigning beetle. Scary name. Super cute insect. So let's see. I'm seeing all six of his legs. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six. His antenna are going to be much harder to see. I don't know. Maybe he's moving them around. But let's see. So he's kind of still. I wonder if he'll play dead. So I'm going to I'm gonna trick him. I'm going to kind of flip him over on his back a little bit and let's see if he does. Oh, he's starting to move. I want to make sure you see that he's alive and moving. There he goes. Alive and moving. Oh, he's moving fast. You see his antenna? Look at his antenna are moving around so we can sense where he's going. Make sure it's a safe place and he might not fall. Now let's, let's, whoa, fast, 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 fast. Let's see if we can make him play dead. You ready? He may, he may not. Let's see. Nope. Oh, look, he's slipping right back over. He's like, no way. No way. Nope. Wah, wah. So he's not going to do it. I'm going to stick him back and see if somebody else does. He's too brave. He's too used to being handled. Let's see. Here's a black death feigning beetle. So let's see. Now, these guys actually live in the United States. Yeah, they live out like southwest United States, like near uh, New Mexico and Arizona. Arizona, you might find them out there just strolling around. They like the desert. So I don't give them a lot of water. In fact, they get a lot of their water from the food they eat. They eat a lot of salads. They give them some fruit and fruit jellies sometimes. And I, I really don't give them water. In fact, if I gave the blue ones water, if they got wet, which they need to be moist sometimes, it takes away their blue coloring, their blue coating for a little bit until they dry out. And then they're blue again. Pretty crazy. Okay. So here's a blue death fena. Or sorry, a black death banner. Ooh, saw the blue. Here's black. So see him slowly moving around. He may play dead. He's usually more scared. So let's see if we can get him to do it. Let's see. Oh, kinda. Not as dramatic. I have more. I have others that do it dramatically. So he's just kind of laying on his back, not moving, looking not very alive. He's frozen his legs. Playing dead. Let's see. We flip him back over. He might stay like that for a while. In fact, it's hard to tell sometimes. Let's see if we see anything start moving. Um, nope. Okay, we'll stick him back. Oh, he's starting a little bit to move. There he goes. There. No? Okay, we'll stick him back. Let's see. Oh, here's the smooth death fainer and actually I'll bring the black one out too. see so oh he's playing dead right away sometimes they call these pop and lock death fainers because they often like pop and lock their joints up and they look really funny so he's doing it right now look he's kind of popped and locked see that or sometimes when they're doing it and they're standing up it almost looks like they're doing like a handstand but no see look he's playing dead but okay look carefully his legs are just moving the tiniest bit He's making sure and seeing if it's safe for him to turn back over. Playing dead, death fading. Let's see. I don't know if he's gonna come back. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, dead again, but. Now, while he's kind of doing that, I don't know if you can see him. I'm holding carefully. See how smooth and shiny his exoskeleton is? That's why they call him exoskeleton is. That's why they call him a smooth death thing. There he goes. He's like, I'm getting out of here. Let's see one more time if he feels dead. No, he's on to us. Oh, there he is. He's dead. <laughs> All right. We're going to stick him back. And maybe there's one more blue. They all like to hide. Let's see. See if I can get a blue to play to. There's another. I have a baby smooth in here, a tinier one. Here, see how he's he's super teeny. He's a super teeny one. See him? Here's the other one. How big he was compared to the teenier one. Whoa, they're going different directions. See? Big and little. Yeah. So let's see. I'm gonna see if I can find you a blue that'll play dead, and then maybe we'll sing this song one more time. Here's my other two blues. See if I can get one of them, just one of them, to play dead. There they are. Look at their pretty blues. Let's see. If I flip them over. I always like to do it this way. I kind of carefully cradle them in my hand and then release. Oh, there's one playing dead. Bah. Look at him. Play. Oh, he's done. He flipped over. Let's see if I can get him to do it again. Carefully, carefully. Bah. He's playing dead. Oh, no, 
now he's done. <laughs> so silly. So I'm going to stick them back. We're going to sing the song and I'll, I'll bring, I'll bring a few back out on my hand and we'll say good night. So real quick, one more deep breath. This is going long. Okay. Remember? Okay. So insects had two antenna. Insects had an exoskeleton. Insects had six legs. Insects had sometimes wings. And insects had three body parts. Head, thorax, abdomen. Are you ready? One more time, we're gonna do the song. I really invite you to sing with me and get really silly. I always get silly before bed. So, got my cut pajamas. My Luke Cage pajamas. One of my favorite superheroes. All right, got my six legs ready. I don't feature them in the song, but they're gonna dance with us. All right, let's get ready to insert. Are you ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two antenna and an exoskeleton. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And sometimes wings. Okay, bringing you back. Oh, okay. We're getting ready to say goodnight to our death painting beetles now that we know all the cool parts of insects. Now, we're going to move on from insects tomorrow in the next few days, but I want you to remember all the parts because we're going to be playing one of my favorite games called, is it an insect? Remember the book? Is it an insect? Oh my gosh. Speaking of books, we were so excited and had so much ridiculousness. We didn't read our book for tonight. Oh well, we all made mistakes and it's been a crazy night. So we're going to read this book tomorrow, this book called Bugs. And I'll give you a little show, see if it does it. It is a cool moving book. Oh, how silly of me to forget that, but we have something to look forward to tomorrow. And anyway, I want you to remember the parts of an insect that made them special because we're gonna play, is it an insect? So you're gonna tell me, it's an insect, or you're gonna tell me, not an insect, not an insect. So keep that in mind as we get ready to say good night to death feigning beetles. Let's see, oh look, I've got a smooth, a black, and a blue in a row here. I'll bring them all out at once. Oh, if they stay still. <laughs> the black is, or the smooth is playing dead. So there they are in my hand. And we're gonna say, good night, death fainting beetles. Or we could just say, good night, beetles. Good night, fainting beetles. Good night, insects. And good night, all of you. Ah, beetles down. Okay, they're back. Good night, everyone. Good night.